in my last video I made uh, my knife handle and uh, it was for a knife that was kind of an heirloom that I had uh, made uh, replicas for my son my brother and myself so we all got the same knives and I made it from my carta that I had made from some of my dad's old shirts so uh, I had people that wanted to see how I made the micarta, so I figured I would do a quick video on how to do that. And uh, I had a pair of blue jeans over here that I've been planning on using just for that purpose. So I went ahead and made some micarta with, uh, with those blue jeans, and this is how I did it. So it's a pretty simple process, just gotta be quick. Let's get started. And uh, the materials that I need is first of all I need some type of press to press it in and I've got this here and the way I built this just a, a piece of plywood with four uh, actually it's all thread I believe it's 3 8 inch coming through on each corner and I made these are spacers so that I don't have to worry about uh, tightening down too much on one side and getting my micarta all out of whack. Uh, when I tighten all the bolts down onto these spacers, it's the correct height all the way. And I'm I'm going with seven eighths inch. So if I need to, I can run my my table saw right down the middle, and I uh, and I still end up with two three eighths inch thick scales. So uh, but anyway, uh, that's my press. There's the top to my press right there. You'll need your material that you're going to turn to my carta. This was a, a pair of blue jeans pants that uh, that I had that I, I was actually planning on doing my carta with anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it in this demonstration. So, uh, But you'll need a pan for your press to sit in if you don't like huge messes. You'll also need another pan. Or, or the way that I do it, I use another pan to put the the epoxy uh, on the material. Now you can use lots of different kinds of material. Uh, you could use, I mean, as long as it'll soak up the uh, the resin, you'll be good. Uh, I've seen people do it with paper. I've seen you know people do it with microfiber, fleece, uh, just all kinds of stuff. And like a, all my knives, uh, they were made with the flannel shirts. And you can kind of see, this one's curing up. You can kind of see how it's, you know, coming along. It looks really nice. Uh, next, we need a way to measure our resin. I'm going to use uh, 10 ounces uh, to start with. I'm not really sure how much it's going to take, but I believe 10 ounces should handle it. Um, I've got something to put it in. I've got my resin here. This is uh, Composite Envisions uh, Silmar 41. I like it because it's uh, it, it's a polyester resin, but it's uh, but it's also crystal clear. Now, some people will use, uh, or a lot of people, uh, most people actually use the Bondo fiberglass resin, and I mean you can get that right at Walmart for cheap or any auto parts store anything carries that but this is what I'm using it has a comparable working time as the fiberglass resin uh, about maybe 10 minutes 12 minutes depending on the temperature things like that outside but uh, you put in your catalyst you have to add your catalyst it's it's 10 drops per ounce so I'm going 10 ounces it's going to take a hundred drops so anyway uh, Let's get this thing going. Another good thing to have, oh yeah, you will need parchment paper. Uh, parchment paper or wax paper. Uh, parchment is a little bit better uh, because this epoxy doesn't stick to that as bad as it does wax paper. Need a paper towel just for wiping things and gloves. seven eight nine ten all right so i'm at ten ounces now i don't have to be in a hurry yet because i've not mixed anything with it 
so we're pretty good right now. You got to get yourself ready to do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and put all of these pieces into my into my pan. Now, all right. Now I'm going to count these out. I'll stop the video, but I'm going to put a hundred drops in here. One, two. <clears throat> okay, this stuff is almost done. Okay. Now, it's thoroughly mixed. I'm going to pour some in here, first of all. I'll probably just pour it all, pour a bunch of it in here. And this will help me As a matter of fact I'm just going to put it all in there now this will help me put this stuff uh, get it on all of this stuff I've got a lot of things to do and just a very little time to do it now I'm going to put my parchment in my press and just push it down so that I can kind of see where everything goes. Kind of like that. Now, I'm going to take this putty knife and I'm just going to start taking each piece of this. And mainly I'm wetting the top. I'm just wetting the tops of them. Putting them in. Putting them in the press. Okay, now, and as I do the tops, they'll stick to the bottoms of the others. Just make sure you get, get plenty of it on there. Okay, now let's grab that one. And you'd have to do, you got to do each and every one of them, just like this. Try to lay them as uniformly on top of each other as possible. And when you mash these, all that epoxy will go, it will all mix in together. Acorns! And in the meantime, I've got epoxy already soaking in to some of these other ones in here. So, so we're just going to keep going with this. Each individual one, getting epoxy soaking into the material. And you take that one and, and you just stack it. Now, that this one's got little strings on it. Don't let the strings get in between them. That sitting out there. Put this right here. All right, let me get these gloves off. If I can. All right. Let's get those gloves off, and I'll put them right there. All right, now I'm just gonna wrap this over this way. Wrap this over this way, and then just kind of fold it back to keep me from. Now there's the front is up that way. Get on my press. I think we're good. Okay, there's my press. I'm gonna pull these two ends up. That'll help me uh, keep this stuff from running out all over the place. Get the bolts on or the nuts on. And I'll tighten these nuts right down to the spacers. And once I get to the spacers, I won't worry about it anymore. All right, get on there. Got one that's being uncooperative. Mash it down. Twist it.
All right, now I'm a good uh, probably quarter inch. And I've, I've got these things already tightened down, finger tight. So now I'm gonna take my wrench and just finish tightening everything down, right down to the spacers. That was about there. I can see it trying to match up. It looks pretty good. Get some over here. This side I didn't mash down as much. Gotta get that. Now, one thing I noticed when I was doing my other micarta for those knives was that uh, had a little bit of bow on one side and you can go back and put two more bolts right there and make it but I, I wasn't worried about that because I knew I was going to be sanding that side flat anyway. Alrighty. Now, we're sitting on, my, on the spacers all the way around. And, and all we have to do now is let this cure up. You can see there's a lot of epoxy that's pooling in here. It's actually pressing out. So I know I had enough. So 10 ounces was enough to do this. It's a 2 inch by 7 inch uh, by 7 eighths inch thick uh, block. Alright. Well, it's the next day. Let's see what we got. That feels really hard. All right, I've went ahead and put a clamp in the middle just to help me uh, make sure that this thing didn't get too out of whack. So we're get this thing opened up. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Uh -huh. Look at that. That stuff will not hardly stick to that parchment. Good block of denim. Denim micarta. My new piece that I've made. And I'm I'm about ready to uh, try to get me a little flat edge right here so I can run it through my saw and get this stuff uh, basically cut down. I'm just gonna try to get a flat edge that I can run against my Got me a flat edge here. I should be able to run that right through my through my bandsaw.
do my carter, and uh, that's how I make it right there. It's hard as a rock. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can make, uh, you know, pistol handles, uh, knife handles, you can make all kinds of stuff out of this stuff. It's probably one of the best materials that you could possibly have for a handle on a knife or, or a pistol grip or something like that because you, you have that texture on the outside. And if you watch my knife video, uh, then you'll see I didn't put, I didn't do any kind of finish or wax or anything over the handle at all. Well, after I sanded it, I was done. And that leaves a, a good grip, of, grippable surface, even if it's wet. But there's my micarta. And uh, when I trimmed it up on the bandsaw, I just barely went outside, barely along the edge. So I still got, you can see, epoxy and stuff like that in here. Uh, but when I get ready to do a knife handle, <clears throat> all that'll be gone. So, uh, so anyway, that's how I do my card up. People had asked, and so there it is. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see y'all down the road.